Councilwoman Kiki. Thank you, Council President. Good evening, everyone. Uh, first, I'd just like to mention that Councilman Medina is not here tonight. Uh, it's actually his anniversary, and he uh, took his wife out for a nice night and showed her that she's number one. So I just want to wish them a very happy anniversary and hope they have a wonderful evening. Uh, many of the things that I discuss are ninth and 10th Ward anyway. First, we'd truly like to thank uh, Joan Beviano for her assistance in the ninth and 10th Ward uh, yard sale. Uh, she organized it and got all the addresses together. And Dawn, if you're watching, we truly appreciate everything you do. Uh, lawn and leaf bags, uh, we did put uh, a message on next door neighbor. Uh, Councilman Medina delivered a lot yesterday. Um, I didn't want to be too far behind, so I have a confession to make. I want to thank my husband for delivering them to my residence today. Uh, a little bit of teamwork there. Uh, the Linden Police Department uh, Chief and the Traffic Bureau, I would just like to truly thank you. Um, many of our residents um, in the 9th and 10th Ward have had many concerns regarding speeding. Um, I have been checking it out a little more, and I have to say sometimes the ladder cars it does seem like they are going a lot faster than they are, uh, and it just sounds worse. But the patrols have been uh, in our neighborhoods uh, for the past three or four days now, and they're going to continue working. I also contacted the county police as far as the outside areas of our ward, uh, Raritan Road and Stile Street. So hopefully, with the help of everyone, we can, we can uh, curb some of our our issues, our traffic violations and issues. Uh, let's see, Alcala Park, I was receiving some complaints about the jungle gym. I guess all the rubber matting and everything is missing, the kids are getting hurt. Uh, within the next two weeks, our uh, public property department will be uh, fixing that at our, our Alcala Park, so that will be resolved. Uh, Councilman Medina wanted me to just tell everybody to have a safe and wonderful Halloween. Uh, lastly, there was two presentations tonight. Uh, both of them uh, dear to my heart. Uh, first, Nancy Braxton. Um, she is a wonderful city employee. I never really knew her well. I never actually knew she had breast cancer because she just kept chugging along and going to work and she was at all the concerts and, and all the events. And um, I, I really, some people you don't really know and then once you know a little thing, it clicks in and, and she's just an amazing woman. And I really commend her for the challenges she's been up against and, and thank her for all that she does in the city. And lastly, um, Patrolman, uh, super, I, I don't even recall his, uh, Peter Hammer. Um, investigator. Amazing. Investigator Hammer, I'm sorry, there's so many. Um, just amazing uh, what he did that day, what he, him just returning to work after a short period of time. 25 years ago, my father took a bullet in being on duty as a London police officer and I know the struggles and the issues that my family has gone through. I can't say what a wonderful person and heart he, uh, he has being able to, to go through that situation and return to work so quickly. And I have to say tonight when he stood up there and he said, you know, I'm not about public speaking, I just do my job and I wanna do the best. I feel like that was, I don't remember, but that was probably the same thing that my father said 25 years ago. You know, he just doesn't wear that badge on his uniform. It's absolutely in his heart and we're very, very lucky to have him. Um, and lastly, my niece Isabel, I have to say hello to her. Isabel Brooke, I love you so much and I hope everybody has a safe Halloween. Thank you. Thank you, Councilwoman.